Welcome to Veo. My name is Clara Vu. I'm Veo's CTO and one of the co-founders. My colleague Brad here will be navigating our data visualization software, which you can see at the bottom of the screen. Our sales team is moderating chat on our virtual booth. Please send all questions to the chat for them to read off at the end of the demo. Also, please note that we will be recording. Our product, FreeMove, is a comprehensive 3D safeguarding solution for human-robot collaboration with standard industrial robots. Today, we're showing you a collaborative palletizing work cell, which is one of the work cells we've built to demonstrate FreeMove. FreeMove works in a lot of different applications. This particular work cell was inspired by some of our CPG customers. Operators need to be able to enter the work cell frequently to exchange pallets and occasionally adjust boxes and handle other faults. FreeMove reduces the overall cost and complexity of having humans working with robots. In this work cell, you can see FreeMove working with an ABB IRB 2600. We also work with FANUC, KUKA, and Yaskawa robots, and we have all of these here in our facility, including the R2000 FANUC you'll see behind me. FreeMove is certified to PLD Category 3. The system includes our sensors, which are custom wide fields of view, long range time of flight sensors with dual imagers that lets us do per pixel validation of sensor data. And the FreeMove engine, which is a high performance industrial computer that has dual motherboards checked by a safety processor, which processes all of the sensor data and interfaces with the robot and other hazards in the work cell. The FreeMove sensors are positioned around the work cell to capture image data of the entire safeguarded space. The FreeMove engine uses this 3D data to build a semantic representation of the work cell, including where the robot is and where people are or where people could be. And you'll see that robot and, and, and person represented here on the visualization. The robot is modeled in white and all those red dots represent the person otherwise known as me. You can have multiple people in a work cell, any number, as you'll see a little bit later on. So FreeMove identifies places where a human could be and then calculates all the places the robot could get to before it could be brought to a stop. We call this the robot future cloud, which you can see represented here by the yellow dots. FreeMove then measures the minimum distance between any one of those humans and that robot future cloud and determines whether the robot is closer to any human than the protective separation distance, or PSD, and the robot therefore needs to stop. This implements speed and separation monitoring, which is one of the modes of collaboration described in ISO 10 to 18. When the human moves away from the robot, FreeMove can then clear the PSD violation, which will allow the robot to restart automatically in many cases. Now let's see it in action. So FreeMove's real-time 3D understanding of the space lets us adjust all of these computations dynamically. You can see the robot future cloud moving with the robot on a data visualization. And you can see that minimum distance being computed, and that's represented by the green line, which you'll also see that that green line moves as I move through the robot. And you'll see it flickering because that is recomputed at our every cycle of the system. As I get closer to the robot, FreeMove signals a speed limit, which will cause the robot to slow down and lets us decrease the size of that robot future cloud because now the robot can stop faster. When I get real close, that will cause a protective separation distance violation and FreeMove will signal that to the robot, the robot can then stop. When I move away, that PSD violation clears and the robot can keep going again. Now let's see how this works in an actual application. So again, this is a collaborative palletizing application. The robot stacks the pallet, but operators are able to easily move in and out of the work cell. Humans can safely approach the robot while the application is in progress. You'll see the robot can slow and then stop as I move closer. Once this pallet is complete, the operator will be able to come in and clear the pallet while the robot continues operating. The robot will stop when that person gets right up to the, to the pallet, 
handheld because that's close to the robot. But when the operator moves away, the robot can resume again. So in terms of productivity, FreeMove's dynamic safeguarding enables better human-robot collaboration. There are also fewer nuisance faults thanks to FreeMove's enhanced understanding of the entire work cell. FreeMove also achieves better safety through its complete volumetric monitoring. Since the system understands the current state of the robot and humans at all times, we're able to address a number of different potentially hazardous situations. As a single comprehensive system, FreeMove is also easier to set up than standard safeguarding solutions, which require often integrating multiple different 2D sensing systems to cover all the places in a work cell where a human could go. And since FreeMove calculates the protective separation distance for you, you don't need to create custom spreadsheets with complicated geometries. In recent months, flexibility in manufacturing has been top of mind for all of us. We know that to keep pace with market needs, Manufacturing needs to become flexible enough to continuously adapt to change, especially in times of crisis. Achieving this flexibility means bringing together the two most flexible resources in a factory, humans and industrial robots, and enabling them to interact safely and easily.